Now we want to look at an example here and we want to see how to solve linear systems with fractions. Now the idea is when your coefficients are fractions, when a system includes an equation with fractions as the coefficients, eliminate the fractions by multiplying each side of the equation by a common denominator and then solve the resulting system. So if your coefficients are fractions, the first thing you want to do is get rid of those fractions. You want to eliminate those fractions. And then we can go ahead and solve the new system. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example here. Now as you can see, you have 1 over 6x plus 1 over 6y equals 1 and then negative one-half x minus one-third y equals negative five. Now you can see each one of these uh, coefficients here are fractions. So let's go ahead and eliminate the fractions. Now to eliminate the fractions, we need to find a common denominator. So what is your lowest common denominator for the first equation? Now your first equation is 1 over 6x plus 1 over 6y equals 1. So if you see both your denominators here are 6 and we can use that as our least common denominator and go ahead and get rid of our fraction here. So your least common denominator for your first equation is going to be 6 we take that least common denominator and multiply both sides of our equation okay now when you multiply both sides of your equation by 6 6 uh, times 1 over 6 gives you just 1 so that will give you 1x or just x 6 times 1 over 6, y, same thing, 6 over 6, which is 1. So you end up with 1, y. And 1 times 6 on the other side, of course, will give you 6. So we end up with x plus y equal 6 as our first equation. Okay? Then our second equation, let's see what will be the least common denominator for our equation number 2. Now your second equation is negative one-half x minus one-third y equals negative five. So again, if you look at your denominators two and three, what would be your least common denominator? And again, the least common denominator for the numbers two and three is going to be the number six again, okay? So we do the exact same thing here, multiply both sides of our equation by six and this will help us eliminate the fractions. And again, remember, you do not want to change your equation. You still want to maintain your equation. So you, whatever you do to one side, you have to always do to the other side. So if you multiply one side by 6, you want to multiply the other side by 6 as well. And this here will give you um, negative 6 halves. And negative 6 halves is basically... Uh, you can reduce it down to negative 3, okay? Here you would get 6 times um, negative 1 third, which will give you negative 6 over 3, which would reduce down into negative 2. So when we go ahead and rewrite our second equation, your negative 6 halves when you multiply with the x term will give you negative 3x. You multiply 6 with the negative 1 third which gives you negative 6 thirds. That reduces down to a negative 2. That will give you a negative 2y. Okay. And on the other side negative 5 times 6 will of course give you a negative 30. Okay. So, now that we have simplified our equations, gotten rid of the uh, fractions, we can go ahead and use the substitution method to solve this. So, this is our second equation. Our first equation was x plus y equals 6, okay? So, let's go ahead and solve this and see what we come up with. 
So you have um, what we can do here is solve this equation for y, get y by itself on one side, and move the 6 over to the other side. So this will give me, I'm sorry, move the x to the other side, and that gives us negative x plus 6. Okay, so we have just basically solved our um, equation here for y, and now we can go ahead and substitute this into the negative 3x minus 2y equation. So let's see what we end up with negative 3x minus 2 we're substituting our y with negative x plus 6 equals negative 30 now you will see our equation here is only in terms of x's and let's go ahead and find the value for x so you have negative 3x plus 2x minus 12 equals negative 30 Combining our x terms together will give us negative x. Uh, let's take our 12 over to the other side. So that will give us negative x. Negative 30 uh, plus 12 will give us a negative 18. Okay. So you end up with negative x equals negative 18. We need to get rid of that negative sign. So divide both sides by a negative 1. And that gives you x equals a positive 18. Okay, now that we have our um, x value, let's go ahead and find the y. And again, to find the y value, we can go ahead and use uh, this equation here that we had solved for y originally. y equals negative x plus 6. So, substituting for x in there, we end up with negative 18 plus 6 and y value equals a negative 12. Now that you have your x and y value, which of course gives you the ordered pair 18, negative 12, let's go ahead and check our answer uh, in the original equation. Now remember, your original equations were uh, the ones with the fractions in them. So we will go ahead and use these original equations right here okay, to substitute our uh, x and y values and to check our answers. So you had 1 sixth x plus 1 sixth y equals 1. And your other one was negative 1 half x minus 1 third y equals negative 5. The x value that we found was 18 and the y was negative 12. So 1 sixth times 18 plus 1 sixth times negative 12 equals 1. Um, let's see. 1 sixth times 18 will give you 18 over 6. 1 sixth times negative 12 will give you negative 12 over 6. And 18 over 6 will reduce down to a 3. 12 over 6 reduces down to a 2. And you can see 3 minus 2 will give you 1. So we do end up with a true statement for our first equation. You will do the exact same thing for this other equation here. So substitute your x with 18 and your y with negative 12. And let's see what we end up with. This will give us negative 18 over 2 plus um, 12 over 3. And again, we can go ahead and reduce these fractions down. Negative 18 over 2 will give you a negative 9. For, uh, 12 over um, 3 will give you a 4. And of course, negative 9 plus 4 gives you a negative 5. So we end up with the true statement again. And of course, we will say that 18, negative 12 satisfies both our equation. And therefore, your solution set for this system is the ordered pair, 18, negative 12. Right, so again, remember, when you are working with the substitution method, you are substituting one equation into the other. 
and coming up with your answers. So this here takes care of section 8.2 for us.